Welcome back everybody to a Road and Rocks video. Um, I am here after a fresh five inches of rain that have been pouring over Duluth the last few days. So I decided to come to some places that have a lot of exposure to the earth, um, seeing if there's any runoff of new rocks that were exposed. I can see there's a lot of down the shore, a lot of clay colorness in the water so i know there's been a lot of runoff so uh we're gonna make our way down the shore see if there's any new exposed rocks i'm guessing so with all this rain so without further ado thanks for tagging along and let's go make some finds These are the more specific areas I look for. You can see there's still that running water dripping down. So this must have been just maybe a low point on the cliff where a bunch of water runs off or did run off. You can see a lot of new rocks exposed from this clay. So that's where I'm peeking around to see if there's any new finds that have been exposed. We got a long way to go. little but man oh man or i egg it's my absolute favorite look at that this one perfect little eyeball wow is that ever cool Sweet. these are always the fun ones to find still stuck in the clay Not too much size going on there, but it's still a nice little quartz piece. Cool, we got high hopes. I love what the leaves too. I know it makes it harder to see rocks, but I don't know. The fall, this fall scent and smell is just so nice and it's a nice warm overcast day. So it's fun. This looks like one tucked right under that boulder right there. Not much panning. Ooh, there's a nice little quartz. Quartzy center right there. Really, really beautiful husk. Not too shabby. I'll take it. I, I don't mind finding these sizes. I think these are pretty good sizes. Nice. Oh man, did my heart stop for a second. Look at those pretty colors on that rock. That's quite any. Yeah, just a pretty piece of quartz on the top. But I was pretty excited for a second. So many new new rocks to look at, which has been a lot of fun because I do come here quite often. You can tell when there's new rocks or they're all the same. It's a nice old big piece of porphyry. That must have just slid down from the from the clay. A little bit of galaxy stone esque going in between here and there. Some shots of quartz just burn over there. But lots of cool rocks. I don't know. I brought my view tube. Uh, a couple of you recommended. I strapped it up to me, and I didn't bring a strap, so I've just been carrying it along the way. Let's climb over these trees. So it's like that potentially is one in the branches, but I could also see how it's just, oh, there goes the bucket. Oh no, that is a Lake Superior egg. Wow. That is gorgeous. In the color red. You can definitely see some outer husks there. Not much banding, although the light's a little dim to, to tell, but put that on some light and see if we can find some bands. Sorry, Bucking, sorry. Great. Sweet. First good find of the day. 
that and we found a couple right here. Some just look like the outer husk of an egg. It, I know the lighting is very poor from my eyes. It looks like a moss egg, it, but it was this one that really caught my eye. Oh yeah, that's cool. I like that dark fan that runs almost all the way around. It almost looks like smoky quartz paired with that. But, oh, that's cool. I've just been doing some scraping around these rocks. See if we uncover anything. Now I just picked this one up. No banding at all, but I mean, to me that just looks like the outer husk of an agate. It almost looks, this one looks like it came out of the clay, but it almost looks like it's been beach worn and tumbled for a long, long time. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm taking that one home now. Maybe if it gets polished up, it'll reveal some banding. Wow, that is cool. Sweet. No idea what this is, if it's just a pretty rock that has a lot of these quartz bandings going in different directions, but I'm taking that home with me. That is just a beautiful, beautiful stone. Wow, I love that. Love to make some cuts or work with that. Cool. Right as I put the camera away, I realized right here, look at that beautiful piece. Oh my goodness. That beautiful quartz. Oh, I love those dark agates. Look at those bands. Wow, that is beautiful on both sides. I absolutely love that. Gorgeous. I'm so happy I turned around and picked that up. That's my favorite find of the day. Sweet. I'm just going to record just in case, but I thought this one right here was an agate. Not, it's just quartz surrounded by some red, red rock there. Oh wow, we got right in the clay. <laughs> okay, well I was initially excited about this because a lot of agates I find have some limonite staining on the outside like this. But unfortunately, that one's nothing. But I just look right here and that almost looks like a full nodule. Oh my gosh. Look at just the banding around that. Oh my, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely beautiful. Are you, I thought that I saw this big eye. Oh my gosh. And this is why we come after it rains. Like my goodness. That is insane. I am so happy. Woo Look at the size of that too. Oh, the banding is gorgeous. I'm going to get that cleaned up and we'll show it off better at home. But wow. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm running out of daylight, so I'm turning around and heading back. But as you can just tell from the beam on my face, that is one of the coolest agates I think I've ever found. Like I said, eye agates in the beginning are my absolute favorite. Seeing that big eye, I was happy enough, but flipping that over was crazy. So we're gonna see if we make any finds on the way home. Otherwise, let's clean them up and see them back at our, at our warm abode. So see you there. So we are back from the hunt and <laughs> I'm taking some time. I'm at, at work right now. So I'm gonna go through some of the rocks that we found at work here, uh, give you some highlights of, of some of my favorites and we'll probably call it a video. So without further ado, let's take a peek at some of these finds. Not too much banding in this one, just uh. A little quartz bomb right in the middle. Not too big. I could maybe cut it on my saw just to see what's in the middle, but other than that, 
just a little nodule. A couple other little guys. This one's got some little light band. You see that one little dark band in there. And mostly just straight up nodule or husk with no banding. And then this one's interesting. This one I believe is an agate, maybe a moss agate of some sort, but still really cool. I like those little, those veins with some exposed quartz in there. Then on to some of my favorites, the the one-eyed agate here. Very small, but just love how prominent that one, one band is. Oh, there's my, my dress shoe. This was the second best find of the day. Love how prominent the bands are. And I know some people really enjoy quartz. Pockets are right in the middle here. But love that piece. And the last, last one, the beauty. The probably, like I said, best find of the year for me. I love the circular eye bands on the back here so unique followed by just the stunning inside <laughs> just imagine how large this egg it was if it was a full full nodule i mean it's a good size of my hands but super duper happy with the find and then i've heard people call this inside like peanut butter i don't know I ran into a couple agate hunters and they, they called them peanut butter agates. So I don't, I really don't know what this inside is. If anyone knows what that um, compound or material or type of just element that is, I'd be very curious to know. Just love that. So that's going to do it for another Rodenberg Rocks video. Thanks for coming along for such a just vibrant and fun hunt. We are getting to the cold months here in Minnesota of hunting, um, hoping to get out there here in the late fall, early winter season. Um, but I just know I'm gonna have to throw on my waders and endure some cold weather. But nonetheless, thanks for tagging along. See you next video. Peace.